Welcome to the Limitless Athlete Podcast. My name is Tom Foxley, and today you'll be listening to The Debrief. And today is just me. There is no Rachel, as Rachel is away this week, so you get to listen to my dulcet tones for the next few minutes. What we're doing on today's show is discussing, I suppose, the the episode with Hunter, um, Hunter McIntyre, the show that just went, and we'll be bringing out, well, I'll be bringing out a single lesson in this. And the theme that came up in Hunter's episode was the value of hard work. Now, Hunter and the way that he worked through this was in this idea that he had to become more hardworking. He had to push harder. He had to strive for more. He said he just wasn't really working hard enough towards our goal. But there's a fine line here, as I think we've all experienced. What we're really weighing up here is the value of working smart or working hard. Now, falling too far on the working smart side is really just lazy. Like we can intellectualize our way out of hard work and graft and dedication and grit. And these are all traits that are hugely important. However, falling too far on the working hard side looks like running through brick walls when you could simply walk around the outside. It looks like crushing grinding, forcing behavior. It looks like the opposite of flow. It looks like doing things that you don't want to be doing and feeling, well, shit, because you feel like it's what you should be doing. It looks like shame and it looks like a lack of toolkits for true growth and true success. Often we work hard because we don't know how to find the simple and elegant solution to our problem. So in a training environment, we find the fancy Ollie lifting program, or we find the most complex um, nutrition program, or we find this rehab or injury prevention or mobility program that takes days and days and days and days. um, But we can't keep the commitment there. We can't keep the simple habit of five minutes a day because it's so demanding. So we fluctuate in terms of commitment. And also the other areas of our life start to struggle because we're working. It's not, it's, it's barely even working too hard. It's working too simple. It's only using one tool. Society as a whole, we on a, or on a societal level, we value hard work a little too highly. It's our one tool. We often criticize ourselves saying, I'm just not working hard enough. I should be better at this. I should be working harder. I should be putting more hours, more intensity. And this creates this kind of doubt, this self-doubt of, well, should I be doing more? Quite often though, we can be doing too much of what we actually really, really dislike. But let's not forget the other side. Let's not forget the taking our foot too far off the gas, which results in little to no progress. We just don't move towards our our goals. We need, like, it's a cliche quote for a reason that anything worth doing is going to be hard. Like, not everyone who can do something hard, and that in itself is, is valuable. And there's no... There's no point arguing the fact that hard work isn't essential to growth. You've got to do difficult things. You've got to push yourself. You've got to find your limits. And there's huge growth to be had in finding your limits. And if you don't push hard enough, you will just never encounter your true limits. You'll never stretch yourself. You'll never forge yourself into a better, stronger, more resilient, uh, more capable human being. And what often happens, and when I've fallen too far on this side in the past, it particularly applies to me as this self-pitying, sorrowing, moping about like, oh, well, it's fine for them because they've got this advantage and that advantage. Where in truth, a little bit hard, more hard work and 
honesty and integrity on my part would would serve this and it can i'm not saying this is always the source of it it can lead to this i'm not good enough story when we don't work hard enough what can be the antidote to this struggle for balance between hard work and working smart is the idea of intensity when you have this balance right you can strike intensity. Think about it from a very physical point of view. This is why interval training works. This is why CrossFit works. If you do a lot in a short amount of time and get massive bang for our bucks, we can get this in a work environment. We can get this in a training environment. We can get this in a mobility environment, nutrition environment. Um, we can get this in, uh, I can't remember whether it's said work and relationships. We get in every area of our life. If we can find the most intense, demanding, um, maybe maybe not demanding, the most intense, the most, the highest return on investment. That way we can make the biggest progress and, and find this balance between hard work and working smart. So how do we analyze whether we are working too hard or working too smart? That's the essential question that we come up with. First thing to do, well, let's run through the first three steps of the Mindset Rx method because this is essentially what we need to do here. Testing, aiming up, and presence. So testing is, of course, figuring out why or what that story is that is limiting you. What is the limitation in your mindset right now? Next, it's about aiming up, like creating a vision of the future that truly resonates with you. Um, and then finally, creating presence. And there's two more stages with this proof taking action that proves your old story incorrect and your new story to be correct and then getting sports specific the less important on this one the third the first three are the most important so we essentially need to figure out are you working too hard or not hard enough so testing the way i'd start out with this is by observation of the evidence around you are you experiencing burnout are you getting injured the whole time well, if you are, then maybe you're working a little bit too hard and not working elegantly. Um, are you feeling like you're giving up too easily? Okay, that could be one of either. You might actually be giving up too easily or you might just be feeling like it because you've got a false view of what is actually um, going to take you towards success and what is actually socially normal and normal for you. So, we can look at the evidence, but I've, as I was digging deeper into this, what I would do with you is, and sorry if you can hear some dogs barking, by the way, what I'd be doing with you is going for an observe your inner athlete. So this is our open tool where you're essentially free journaling. You're letting your pen flow of the page and just seeing what turns up. Like, what is it that comes out of this free pouring of your writing? You might want to start out with a prompt. And the prompt that I prep for this is, if I'm honest, am I working too hard or not hard enough? Very, very simple. Like, But that, that piece to begin with, if I'm honest, if I'm true to myself, what is it? Am I working too hard or not hard enough? And then you just write. Write the answer. Go where your mindset takes you. Go where your pen takes you. And then after five minutes, stop, walk around, grab some water, grab a coffee, come back to it, and analyze what you've written what do you learn when you read it back to yourself are you using forcing language are you trying to stretch yourself too much or are you using soft talk this idea that i should be doing this i should be doing that i might do this like what does this tell you when you look at your language does it say i'm working too hard or not hard enough then let's look at your end goal and i think this is the big piece so moving from testing to aiming up this is the big one essentially are you working at what you're doing right now because it's what someone else expects you to do, whether that is a broader community that you're in or whether it's the people around you? Are you doing this for yourself or are you doing it because it's what you're expected to do? Quite often, if we're doing it because someone else wants us to do it or we believe someone else wants us to do it, we either end up forcing things or we don't push hard enough. So just having a goal that's truly resonating with you and truly meaningful to you 
is enough often to create this right balance of pushing versus pulling. It creates this flow state. It, well, actually, it doesn't create a flow state. It creates this kind of sense of effortless effort, this, this balance between I'm just treading the line of just before when I burn out, just before when I push myself too hard. I'm using a little bit of willpower, a little bit of push and striving and graft, but I'm not just using that as my only tool. I'm also finding those moments of flow. Ask yourself what is intrinsically motivating to yourself. So if no one else is watching, what would you be doing? That is often enough to provide you with something that really drives you towards success. It's very similar to this Naval Ravikant quote. He talks about read what you love until you love to read. This applies to training. Do what, try, train what you love until you love to train. It applies to everything we do. So what he means by that and what I mean in this area is don't care about what other people want you to do. Don't care what, about what is normal. Care about what you desire and what if you listen to your heart what does that say that is often enough and then from once we've tested and aimed up the last thing to check in on is present are you present in the moment can you create some presence with a simple mindfulness practice or examining your bound nature and your state something that i'd be focusing on here is my physical state do i feel overly sympathetic like forcing or do i feel relaxed calm present my story here is that for years and years and years i called myself lazy i thought that i was always not good enough because i was well i couldn't make myself do the things that i thought i wanted to do and that last piece there is key i thought i wanted to do them but really i was doing them for I suppose reasons that weren't unique to me and driving reasons that weren't unique to me. I just held a belief that I was lazy. I wasn't actually lazy. I just hadn't found what truly drove me and hadn't found an elegant solution toward getting there. So the truth is I was pursuing what didn't interest me. I was pursuing a non, well, an externally or extrinsically motivating drive as opposed to an intrinsically one, intrinsically based one. When I switched that, that created change. That created a whole lot of growth. The goal in this is very, very simple. You've heard it a billion times before. It's all about the journey and not about the destination. If you can find a way of being where the way of living where your act of being in this moment is good enough that you don't care where you get to in the end result, that is what we're looking for. We're looking for this way of being where the journey itself is intrinsically gratifying and rewarding. That's what we're trying to find. And that in itself will find the will create the right balance of forcing versus not pushing enough it will create a nice balance of working hard and working smart at the same time and you'll be able to find that kind of central piece and that ladies and gents is the limitless athlete podcast and the debrief of the limitless athlete podcast for more information you can head to mindsetrx.com or find us on instagram which is at mindsetrx so mindset r x d and you can find a bunch of free information there training programs we've got a webinar coming up which will be fantastic and actually that webinar is worth talking about right now that webinar is the biggest mindset mistakes that athletes make in the crossfit open and you can register for, for that by heading to our website or heading to um, our instagram page which is probably easier so mindset rx to mindset rxd and click the link in our bio, and then there'll be an option there to take you to our webinar. Completely free, but only 100 spaces, and we're about 25 down straight away. So hopefully I'll see you on that webinar. If not, I shall speak to you very soon.